In this video, I'm going to show you how to block ping requests on Mac, Linux, and Windows. And I'm very curious what brought you here. Why are you personally trying to block ping requests? Let me know in the comments below. One reason I can think of is if you are receiving too many ping requests in a denial of service type of fashion. Uh, so yeah, I'm just very curious. Let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. I have three remote Linux systems here, Ubuntu, CentOS, and Rocky Linux, and corresponding ping requests happening from my local computer on the right. So for pretty much across Linux, as far as I can tell, the way to temporarily block a ping request is with a command that looks something like this, sysctl w net ipv4 icmp echo ignore all equals one. So you'll see that these ping requests will stop uh, responding. I'm gonna get a request timeout for that. And we'll do that for each one of these systems just to prove that that is the case. All right, so all the ping requests are stopped right now. Again, this is a temporary fix. If we wanna turn them back on, we can just do the opposite, equals zero for each one of these instead of equals one. It's a binary on or off type of thing, and that'll turn it back on. Now, what if we want to persist these changes when our system reboots? Because right now, if you set that to one and you reboot your system, it's gonna go back to the default zero. We're gonna edit a file at ectsysctl.conf, and, um, in here, I'm just going to go down to the bottom. There is probably a spot for this up at the top in the comments. But what I'm going to do is pretty much what we just did on the command line. I'm going to set uh, net IPv4 ICMP echo ignore all equals one. And I'll save that change. And it's not going to take effect until I do a sysctl p. And then those requests will never respond to from the server's perspective. Again, it's just gonna ignore all uh, all the ICMP requests, which by the way, stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. And that is the protocol that Ping uses to communicate. Um, and we can we can do the same thing on CentOS. So we'll test that out. At the bottom here, we will also add the INET equals one. We'll save that. And we'll do that down here too. etc sysctl.conf at the bottom. We'll write that in, save it, and then we'll do a sysctl p to apply those changes. And if we reboot the system, that will persist. Another way on Linux that you can block ping requests is with a firewall. In this case, we'll do IP tables if you have IP tables installed. So the command will look something like this, IP tables input dash P ICMP, and then the ICMP type echo request, we're gonna drop those. So let's go ahead and execute that because we have IP tables installed on Ubuntu. And then you'll see those requests, those ping requests will not be responded to anymore. The official guidance for blocking ping requests on a Mac computer is to come into system preferences, go to the security and privacy settings, click on the firewall tab, and then you're going to want to make changes. So click on this lock and authenticate. Under firewall options, they have this enable stealth mode, which says don't respond to or acknowledge attempts to access this computer from the network by test applications using ICMP, which again is internet control message protocol such as ping. So let's enable that, uh, click OK, and then apply those changes. So I did not actually have any luck with this option on my Mac. As you can see here, I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi outdoor device, which has this IP address, and my MacBook Pro has this IP address. So from that other device on this network, if I try to ping 192.168, 8.1.12, which is the IP address of my MacBook Pro, it still responds to the ping request. So your mileage may vary with this one, but at least in my case, I didn't have any luck with this. Next, I'm going to show you how to block ping requests on a Windows computer. So I have this remote Windows desktop here and I'm pinging it down here and the ping requests are going through. So in order to block those ping requests, we're gonna open up Windows Defender. And then in here, we're gonna go to Advanced Settings. And what we're gonna do is create an inbound rule. On the right-hand side, click on New Rule. And the type of rule will be a custom rule, so select that button and click on Next. We will apply this to all programs, so click Next. 
for the protocol type, select the ICMPv4 option and then click on the customize settings and we're gonna block specific ICMP types and that's gonna be echo requests. So select that option and click okay. And then we can click on to next. We will apply this to all IP addresses, click next. And what we wanna do is block the connection. So click next and we will apply this rule always. So click next and we'll call it block ping echo request. And finally, we can click on finish and that rule will apply. And as you can see down here, those ping requests are now being blocked. If you want to learn more about ping and some cool additional features that you might not know about, check out this video next and I will see you over there.